Why don't set? <laughs> Hi, welcome to this edition of How To Cue. Today we are dealing with bifold doors, closet doors, the bane of any homeowner and really landlord's existence. I know it's mine. So today we're gonna to tell you how to fix that. If you can fix this bifold door so easily, all you need is some of these parts, which I'll explain, maybe some pliers, and on this job, I'm just using a Phillips head screwdriver. So stay tuned. We're going to take care of this door, which of course is already up, but I'll show you what I did. Wow. It's so much easier to work on these doors if they've been removed. So I'm going to take this door off and I'm going to show you the hardware I'm going to be working on on this door, probably pretty similar to what you've got at your house. I'll explain why in a minute, but all you do is you lift up, rotate it out and move it aside. And that's it. Okay, let's talk about the parts of a bifold door. I've got the top of the bifold door here, and what you've got on the top is basically a pin that retracts. You can push in and out, and then you've got a plastic piece that is the guide that goes along the track. And all you have to do is to put those, install those, or pull them out, put them in, is it's a hole with a usually a plastic piece. So here's the pin, kind of a close up of that, goes in and out. And then this has a plastic piece, but there's also wheels out there. Of course, those spin like that. So let's look at the bottom. Okay, the bottom part of the door, there is no spring, there is no retraction. It's just basically a static part, which of course means it doesn't move. It of course rotates, but it doesn't move. So you've got this piece down at the bottom. You'll have that on one of your doors. It's kind of a star-like connection. And that is just basically, for this door, you may have a little bit of a different setup. You've got these teeth that that fits into. So Okay, now let's go to the hardware on the closet. This bracket is on top in a track. That little pin that I showed you goes into that hole. That Phillips head screw holds that bracket and allows you to adjust it along this track. As you can tell, that track is a little bent there. Guaranteed yours is probably like that if it's been there a while. Okay, now to the bottom. That bracket I showed you earlier with the teeth where that star-like piece goes is in the bottom. It's screwed to the wall there and screwed to the floor. This one isn't, but it's a rental. We're gonna leave it for now, and more importantly, it's not my rental. Okay, so I've got that top piece out, and again, yours may be a little different, but it's gonna be along the same lines. You've basically got this Phillips head screw that secures this into that track, and you put the pin right into that hole. This piece was basically on the ground, so all it was was reinstalling this piece, and you've got that door back up. I would replace this track if this was my place. Home Depot Ace has them. That bent part, is gonna be kind of an issue. I'm gonna bend that out a little bit, which allowed me to get the bracket back in there. Okay, I've widened that, I've adjusted that track a little bit, and now I'm going to install this. It's probably easier to keep the nut in there as you're putting it up there and then secure it, so I'll do that now. So I was able to widen that track a little bit, but it'll never be the same. If you want it to be perfect, go buy a new one. Of course, that's another trip to the store. I was able to get that bracket up there. I tightened the screw with a Phillips head. You wanna make sure the top of the screw head is obviously outside the track. That's why I'm kind of pinching there and I'm cinching down on it or tightening it. And I will get a freeze frame on here shortly just so you can see how the head of that bolt is on the outside of the track. That's kind of key for it to not move again so you're not in the same position later. Okay, now that I've got that tab secure at the top, I'm gonna to reinstall the door. So I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna to basically push that pin in the top. I'm gonna to lift the door up and seat it into that jaw-like piece that I showed you earlier. While you're watching me put this door in, please like if you've learned something. I would love for you to subscribe, check out my other DIY videos. And if there's something you want me to tackle, please let me know and I'll try and do a video or I will point you in the direction of somebody who has. Okay, as easy as that and I swear I didn't speed that up. <laughs> when you reinstall the door, make sure this gap is even. If it's binding or if it's not working right, you probably need to adjust that bracket on the top to the right or move that star down at the bottom a little to the right and it'll be fine. 
Okay, this door is fixed. I hope this has helped you with your project. Don't let that bifold door just kind of sit around. It only takes a quick trip to your local box store, Ace, Home Depot. They've got these parts. They're really easy to fix. You can get your bifold door up, spend an hour or two. If this is your first time catching my channel, I'd love for you to like if this video helped you. Press that like button, subscribe, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching this edition of How To Q. We'll see you next time.